y'all. So we are going to start this video with repurposing these bookshelves. Well, they're, yeah, they're bookshelves. Jeremy made these for me. Jeremy and Michael actually made these for me a couple years ago. Um, I brought them with me to the other trailer and over here. And then this, I had intended on using the dresser underneath it for a TV stand, but I accidentally bought the wrong size TV. I know you're probably wondering how in the world do you do that, but I bought one of those Roku TVs from Walmart and I bought the one that was on sale and I thought it was 55 inches. Turns out it was 65 inches. I'm not complaining. I got a phenomenal deal for them. Um, I, I love that these TVs are getting cheaper now. Um, I mean, it's not like, you know, as great as some of these like super, super ones, but big like advanced ones, but it's, it's perfect. So anyway, I had been just using it like that and Jeremy's like, we can just take, you know, two pieces of wood and just kind of do it like that. So that's what we did here. I say we, Jeremy, did most of it. Um, I'm going to stain it blue and I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys now, neither of us like the color. I had the stain um, I, and I wanted to use it because I've been wanting to use the blue. Neither one of us are too upset about it. Jeremy says it kind of reminds him of Ford blue. Um, he's not a Ford man. He's not really, a, he just, he kind of, he just likes what he likes, but I know some people are pretty passionate about your truck, their trucks, and I'm rambling from thought to thought here, y'all. It's been a week. Shoot, it's been a week. I worked five days in a row, and it kicked my butt. And again, I know I talked about it last week, but it's, you know, being on my feet. And I just felt like, man, you people that can get it all together, like get it all done, like work full time and take care of their house, how do y'all do it? Like, what am I missing here? I, I mean, I guess I'm just missing like keeping up with it. Like I know what I need to do. Like I need to do a little bit here and I need to do a little bit there. Instead, I just wait and do it all at once and then find my off days, like cleaning the whole time. Sorry y'all, I had to dad sneeze and I was not about to put that on here just because it would have like scared the tar out of everyone. So what I was saying is it's like I find myself spending my off days cleaning and it's overwhelming and I the, the problem that I find is I know that I need to rest I know that it's okay to not spend all of my spare time cleaning like I know that I know it's necessary however when I go to sit down like I'm it's, I just feel guilty like I, I just feel guilty that I know I need to be cleaning something and then I find myself too like recently like I go to clean something and there's I find other messes and I'm like man like I just mean I just want to clean the sink, but now I'm seeing over here these cabinets need wiped down, and then I'm looking at the cabinets I'm like, oh my gosh, like the wall needs wiped down, and oh my gosh, the floor, and you know, just one thing, and then eventually I'm like, Ugh, there's just way too much that needs to clean. I don't want to do any of it. And then ironically, like I spent all day Tuesday, um, Jeremy came over and hang out, hang out, hung out, and we did, you know, kind of piddled around the house, went running, you know, did a little bit of this, did a little bit of that. And then at the very last minute, I decide like, I'm going to go, I'm going to clean, you know, he, he heads home and then I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go do a bunch of cleaning. And I did. And I just like a fire got lit under my butt and I cleaned for an hour and I got a ton of stuff done. And I knew it's because I was going to be gone for a couple days. And I was started to think, and I was like, you know, future Erica would probably really appreciate coming home to a clean house. So I was like, okay, well, what's the very first thing I noticed when I walk into my house? And I'm like, okay, well, that's my floors. So I bought my floors, got those done. You guys will see me do that here. And then I was like, okay, well, when I go from there, I'm like, I'm gonna walk in my kitchen. I'm like, I hate seeing dirty dishes in the sink. So I was like, okay, I'll load these up. Well, then I realized I needed to unload it. Anyway, y'all get the point. It was like a, um, a butterfly effect or a snowball effect. And I, by the time I was done, I was like, oh great. I got, you know, I got enough done. And I think too, the biggest thing I needed was to get away from my house for a minute and then come back, you know, like you're like you know what it felt a lot messier when i left it's actually not that bad um usually in my case it's not that bad it's not you know now anyway the last few years it's been that way i'm like oh i really felt like it was messier when i left and so i just kind of need to take a step back yeah so this is stain you guys i showed you what it was it's like some kind of gel stain um and yes i did do it with the tv on there um, don't know what's going on with me lately, but this is a lazy, lazy way to do it. I do not recommend doing it to any, you know, and you guys can, y'all can chew me a new one for this because I probably shouldn't have done it that way. But I didn't get any on the floor, didn't get any on my books, didn't get any on all of that. To be honest, the way I've been feeling lately, I don't think I would really care if I did. I think it's just kind of been one of those things lately where it's like you have so much on your mind and you just kind of are like, ugh. Okay, I got so much to care about. I'm just not gonna care about diddly poop. 
and yeah no I mean I, I do care about things and um you know anyway y'all hopefully y'all get what I'm saying I just got distracted by some things looking around my computer but so like I said this is a gel stain it was blue pine I bought it like a couple months ago actually I think I bought it maybe a year or so ago and I figured why not this isn't a piece I don't know I'll keep it in here if it's gonna stay this way or not I mean I like it and it serves its purpose and I'm gonna do something else with it maybe try I know it needs to be sealed so maybe that'll help um, and if all this fails just paint it black like I do everything else my grandmother always said black is a classic color it goes with everything it fits every mood you can make it work in just about anywhere so that's what I'm gonna do with this Joe he'll pop in here in a little minute he has decided that he wants to be a photographer so I was letting him snap some pictures of mommy and that's why you've got a goofy picture of me on my thumbnail um, I promised him that I would put it in there so I did but like I said I'm gonna show you guys a picture of this I think when I'm done again not thrilled with it but it is what it is so um, it, it doesn't look too bad I just don't love it All right, I've got a real small Walmart haul. I got this drop cloth for three bucks, snuggle for seven. Uh, I'm making potato soup this week, and right now I'm getting ready to make beans and cornbread, and then I'm gonna put this in uh, my lunch. I'm doing ham with cream cheese and chive roll-ups. These are the fresh jalapenos for my beans for my cornbread. Sour cream for potato soup. These are for my lunch. This is the ham seasoning that I use. I'll put that in my beans. Um, this is for, what is this for? Oh, potato soup. And then I feel like there's another bag somewhere, but I guess not. So this was about 30 some dollars. Man, that is not a lot. All right, but that is my Walmart haul, y'all. I went to the store earlier this week, too. I went to Walmart last night and got a couple of other little things. It's been one of those weeks where I keep forgetting, so it's like two hauls in one week. But I just got dog food. That was the main thing. And then a couple toiletries, like some makeup and bath wash, so I didn't really show it. Um, but, yeah, that's my haul for this week, y'all. Okay, the reason I felt like there was more is because there were. Joe just left it over here. I got this for my makeup. Um, I got some leggings for work, some jeggings. I just can't see the jeans, y'all. Joe. Just. There's my ham, and then there's my bacon. Okay, so that's the rest of my Walmart haul. The bacon is for Joe for breakfast, and then for my beans. And like I said, the ham is for my lunch. Okay, so I'm making banana pudding. I took two uh, containers of banana cream or banana pudding, put it in my blender and put four cups of milk. Just follow the box the instructions on the box. I did not ever think about putting my pudding, ah, putting my pudding in a blender and it suggested on the back of the box. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the greatest idea ever because I don't have a handheld mixer right now. And I don't know about y'all, but I love instant pudding, but it's completely different when you stir it with a spoon than when you do it with an actual mixer or a fork or whatever you do. You never get all the crumbs out. There's nothing gross, more gross than taking a big old slurp of pudding and you get like that gritty, grainy flour stuff. So I take a whole container of vanilla wafers. In this case, I use lemon Kroger brand vanilla wafers and they were spectacular. Jeremy loved it. I loved it. Um, two bananas. You put as many bananas as you want because it's your pudding. And then I do a whole container of whipped cream, whipped no, whip topping or Cool Whip or whatever. So like I was saying, I say like I was saying, I recorded this whole instruction video thing right here and then realized I hadn't hit record. So um, I think banana pudding is one of those recipes that everybody's me mom, my mom, mamaw has a recipe that's been passed down since Mayflower and everyone's different. So I kind of hesitated to do this. I think it's kind of like chicken and dumplings and gravy and everybody's got some kind of secret thing to it. I think mine is just very, very, very basic. 
I don't do anything else other to it than what you just saw here. You pop it in the refrigerator and it's good to go. I like a lot of extra vanilla wafers. I like it super crunchy. I like little banana, which is ironic because it's banana pudding, right? And how did um, I forget? Banana cream pie, banana cream pie, banana pudding, and coffee for dessert. We got IHOP. Who likes coffee? And we got Waffle House. Which one y'all like better? I personally love Waffle House, but I do love IHOP. It really depends on what I'm in the mood for. I get Waffle House, I get their um, patty melt, and IHOP, I get pancakes and an omelet. So y'all tell me. But anyway, Joe says hi, y'all. Um, and this is banana banana cream pie for Ooh. dessert. So this, but I keep calling it banana cream pie. It's banana pudding, banana pudding. Okay, so I'm just hamburger helper, some green beans pudding. and banana pudding. Joe, do you like the green beans? Yeah. They're delicious. It's my favorite. And the spaghetti and try no, making a We didn't do spaghetti. Okay. Spaghetti. Anyway, Tuesday night's dinner, y'all. Y'all didn't miss the dinner part. I didn't show the dinner part in this video. I was actually working on another video. I'll have a, in a couple weeks just like dinners that we do around the house. So what I was mentioning dinner don't worry, you didn't miss it because it's not in this one. But we did have, um, I think, hamburger helper and green beans for dinner. Joe doesn't normally like green beans, and I didn't really do anything different to mine, but he liked them. It was time to wash my sheets. Ideally, I would wash my sheets once a week. Does that happen? Absolutely not. I really wish it did, um, but I get to it when I get to it. So my duvet cover now. I think I would wash the cover itself about once a month. I watched it, I've washed it twice this month. Um, I don't normally eat in my bed and neither does Joe. It's actually a habit that I've done well to break. I used to be really bad about it. Um, but recently we just, we haven't done it since we moved into this trailer. But Joe had some strawberry milk in here the other night and spilled it so I had to wash it. And that's okay, stuff like that happens. I don't even remember why he had it. I think it was just one of those random weird things that we can just have it in here, but it was just a one time thing. Ugh. So this is one of those nights. You guys haven't seen these cheetah sheets, leopard sheets, whatever they are, in a minute. And I'll tell you why. Because they're slick. I really swear I could run and jump on here and slide off the bed, which I have slid off before slide off the bed. Um, they're just super, super slick. But I was really tired and my other sheets were still in the dryer. So I just went ahead and kept them on there. But I know soon enough I'll need to wash them and we'll just pull them off again. So it'll be all right. And I don't know why this went in so easy, but I was able to get my duvet filler, whatever, into my cover. So it was great. Oh my gosh, y'all. Loving this weather. It's been like 70 degrees, and then it's like super cold in the morning. Now it gets like small pot again in the afternoons for a little bit, but it's not too long. So it's been nice to not have my air conditioning units on. I am just not a fan of air conditioning for the most part. Um, I do not like being hot, I will tell you that, but I do not like an air conditioner. For whatever reason, it makes my nose run, whether I'm in a car, whether I'm in a house. Um, I just, there's something about the actual air conditioning units, whether it's like the big industrial ones or these little, you know, teeny window units, just make my nose run. And they're loud. I don't like that. Let's see if I can find one other thing to complain about, y'all. My head hurts. There you go. No, but I got my sheets washed. I love, even though it was slicky. I have to say they are colder. Here, let me say something positive. As slick as these sheets are and as difficult as they are to make, they are, certainly are comfortable once I get settled in. Like they, they do keep me cold. Um, I'm, I've just been really struggling with hot flashes recently and night sweats too. So it's, uh, it's not been delightful for me with body temperature and stuff. Jeremy said, sweetheart, he ordered me one of those fans that you put around your neck. They look like headphones, but they just rest and they're just kind of supposed to cool you down. Um, one of my friends at work, she's got one that she wears for hot flashes and uh, I'm super excited because I get them real bad at work and it's awful. And once they start, it's like they just don't stop. But I'm 41, so I guess that's to be expected. Okay, so here we are in my kitchen. This not It's not my kitchen. That's absolutely not my kitchen. That is my living room. If you've been here a minute, you know when I actually finally get to my floors, I like to do the vacuum, I like to do the broom, and then I like to mop. Uh, and that is what I do here. Now, I don't really do a pattern. I just kind of willy-nilly it and go a little bit everywhere. And I got adventurous and threw my vacuum cleaner up on my couch and vacuumed it up too while I was in there. 
I'm gonna use pine saw in my mop. Um, I ended up getting my whole house. I didn't plan to, but I did it. I was pretty tickled about it. Um, I have to say, as crappy as I was feeling about the state of my house by the time I left this day, I felt pretty good. Um, and I'm actually excited to get home just to walk into a clean trailer. And to be honest, the two days that I'm gone will probably be the longest my trailer stayed clean because the main, uh, the villain in the story is not there. The villain in the story is me in this case. Uh -oh, we're just gonna keep being dramatic, aren't we? So Jeremy, when he was over there on Tuesday, everyone that commented on the beat, um, Monday, I keep saying Tuesday, he was over there on Monday, this is Monday when I was cleaning this. And he's like, okay, I get the point about the beep. I gotta stop. He's like, I gotta fix the oven, I gotta do something. So he pulls the oven out, takes it apart, starts getting through it and everything else. Well, I still couldn't figure out how to get the beep to stop. Um, we were just trying to get the beep to stop, not to fix the oven, because the oven can't be fixed. So now it is unplugged and just we'll have to, just have to go without, but I'm supposed to be getting a new oven, stove, whatever you call it here in the next week or so. So when I woke up this morning, it was 62 degrees in the trailer and I had all of the windows closed or the curtains pulled shut. Um, I always loved that idea of opening and closing the house. I don't know why. I think it's always heard my grandmother would say that. She'd say the kitchen's closed or let's close the house down for the night. Anyway, by the time the sun came out and we got back, it was like roasting in this living room. The, it's crazy the difference in temperature that those windows make. So I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know if I want to say excited, but definitely looking. It's going to be an interesting winter. Jeremy is standing behind me. I don't know if he's going to talk or not, but he might. <laughs> he's being ornery. Okay, so I'm mopping my floors. Like I said, that's just hot water and pine saw. Those are not mop socks. I really regretted wearing these socks because they were soaked by the time I was done. But my floors really, really needed a good mopping. It had been a minute, but I got it done. Like I said, I ended up mopping my whole house and I had no intention of doing all of it. Okay, so big question I've been asked a couple times and I don't know why I have never answered. Um, I always intended to, it was never a secret. I paid $3,500 for this trailer. Um, and that was a steal. So, um, I mean, it is 41 years old. No, it's 42 years old. It's 42 years old, um, but it's in great condition. Um, and I guess this particular model, they're made really well. So it's it's not like the newer trailers that you see now, the single wides, but um, that is how much I paid for this trailer. And like I said, I was never keeping, that was never keeping that a secret. The other question I'm asked, it seems like almost every video is, who is Jeremy to me? Um, Jeremy and I are married. We are, uh, we live in separate houses. We do, you know, we've been, I guess, separated for several months now. Um, but you know, we, we have children together, so we still do things together and, you know, kind of smush stuff together. Um, I don't know if that was word or she used or not, but you get the point. Um, so yeah, our lives are still very much intertwined. Uh, so that is who Jeremy is to me. He is uh, my baby daddy, I guess, <laughs> as goofy as that, that is. Um, and I guess he's my best friend as well. Let's not guess, he definitely is. So yeah, um, and I hope that answers to those questions. I'm sure there have been some other, I've been meaning a film, like a Q and A, and I just never get around to it. So I guess I'll just answer him as I go. But those were the two that I have seen multiple times. Um, I do live here in West Virginia, Southern West Virginia. So yeah, um, we both do. We just live uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes apart. So, like I said, we, they're usually, it's not a day goes by, we don't see each other in some way, shape, or form. So, um, yeah. I am folding clothes. So, y'all know what that means. That means it's the end of the video. I, this is a bad habit, y'all. And I need you guys to call me out on it. It's been creeping up again. Um, I'm really bad to let my laundry pile up, not to not wash it. Like I do well to wash it, but then, and you know what it is? It's this chair. I just brought this chair back in. What well, I'd say back in, it's never been in this room, but I do this with the surfaces. The irony of this is I moved that vanity out of here because I kept piling it up only to move something else in here to pile it up. So 
yeah I'm noticing uh, that was not very well thought out so I'm gonna have to do something about that but anyway um, I love you guys you all are awesome I should have a video up for Saturday um, again the Saturday videos are gonna be kind of vlog style just random they might be day in the life they might be following me around in the car just talking I really don't know I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do for them they're just gonna be kind of random um, so like I said if there's ever anything you want to see just you know let me know but I hope wherever you guys are at you are having a blessed one if you guys are having a wonderful fall beginning of fall whatever time this you know what I hope you're having whatever kind of day you want how's that um, all right so you guys just enjoy the rest of this I love y'all I'll see you next week